Hey everybody, it's your Sam and I'm here with another video. Today I kind of want to go over Isekai Detective, my progress with it and what I've been doing at least for this month so far. I do have a couple of videos on Isekai Detective that I have done previously where I talked about it a little bit, uh, mainly the characters and some of my visual aids that I have with Isekai Detective and I will link those in the cards somewhere or probably on the end screen more than likely. Isekai Detective is my kind of homage so to speak to the Isekai genre and what Isekai is is where it's a real life person and gets pulled into a book, a manga, a different world, a game, something of that nature. Most of it is kind of like RPG game kind of world, but there's a few different things that a character can be pulled into. It's a really huge genre in manga and anime right now. I just wanted to write a book about the other side of things because most of the isekai manga and anime and, and things focus on the character that's actually pulled into the game or the new world. They don't focus on the people who are missing the person who has been pulled into the game. Granted, a lot of these are, they died in their real world and were pulled into the world of a novel or, or something like that. But there are a few where they enter into a game and they are pulled into that game. They cannot leave that game. So Isekai Detective is for those. It is the other side. It is the detectives that are having to research the missing people. And that's what Isekai Detective is all about. You follow Vera, which is my main character, and her sister gets pulled into a game. You get to see the struggles that a detective has to go through because she can't really work on her sister's case because she's family. She's too close to it. So she has to follow the case as if she were a family member. It's a struggle. Just a little bit for her. And there's a little bit of a love interest and all that good stuff. Again, for more information on Isekai Detective, watch my, some of my previous videos and I will be doing more videos in the future about Isekai Detective too. So stick around. If you haven't already, make sure to subscribe and you will get notified if you hit that little bell button when I upload videos, especially if you're interested in my work and all the things dealing with that. I am at chapter five, give or take, on Isekai Detective. I've written quite a bit here and there and now there are a few pieces that are for future chapters that I wrote out because I, I got an idea and I needed to jot it down just so I could remember to put it into Act 2 and there is a, a little bit of a snippet for Act 3 as well. Mostly five chapters are done for Isekai Detective. I have done a reread of it since it's been a while since I've worked on it. During that reread I did edit just a little bit. So far it's pretty good. I'm still loving the characters. I still really like the story and where it's going. That doesn't really need to change all that much. Now there are a few things that I'm thinking of that I might have to change because the main characters are Joss Whedon work fans, mostly Firefly Serenity. And there is a little bit of drama around Joss Whedon and I'm kind of wondering if I need to change that around but I just might leave it. <laughs> <laughs> because Firefly and Serenity is near and dear to my heart and it was kind of an homage to to that series and that movie as well from from me and there's also a series of comics out too and those are really interesting too but yeah I, I I might leave it just you know not make it as strong as it was so I'm still kind of debating on that 
the main character's name is Vera and for those of you who have watched Firefly you know that Jane's gun is named Vera and her sister is named Anara and you know Anara is one of the characters in Firefly and that's who she was named after because their parents are big Firefly Serenity fans and they named their kids after Firefly Serenity things. That's one little kind of small hiccup that I have. Other than that, it's gone pretty well. Edits didn't take me all that long. The reread didn't take me all that long because it's just five chapters. I just did a few grammatical checks and moved around some sentences, made them more clear. And that was, that was about it. I didn't really want to get into heavy editing because I hate editing. <laughs> Don't we all? <laughs> now the next video that I have coming out, which will be this following Sunday, January 22nd, I am going to play around with making a map for Isekai Detective. It's going to be for the game that Inara gets sucked into and that Vera has to play in order to find her sister and hopefully rescue her. I think it's going to be really interesting to try to use Mappa Imperium. Again, I have a video on Mappa Imperium that I'll link up in the cards if you want to take a gander at it. I think that'll be a lot of fun. It will also help guide me through the next few chapters because Vera is going to do a deep dive into the game and I need a map. I need her to have something to follow through in the game. Hope that's going to be something that you're interested in watching. So that's all I've got for you today. Let me know in the comments what you're working on of late and how your projects are going and how your goals are going for January. Thank you for watching as always. Be kind to one another out there. Be kind to yourself. Keep writing. Keep being creative. And I'll see you next time.